again. This is Doc Rotten from Horror News Radio and Gruesome Magazine. Joining me tonight is the one and only Dave Dreher. He's here to talk about the film The Gatehouse from director Martin Gooch. Dave, how you doing? Are you ready for a little trip to the woods, Doc? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, trips take, to the take woods. My ha- take my hand. Let's go to the woods. <laughs> <laughs> In a horror movie, not a good idea. But tell us about uh, The Gatehouse. What's, what is this uh, story all about? Gatehouse is an interesting little film. I went into this knowing absolutely zero about it uh, and was rather pleasantly surprised. Uh, kind of part fairy tale, part horror movie. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a hard one to put your finger on. But at the end of the day... Uh, once you get past some really, really bad CGI, uh, the story itself is actually pretty strong, and the movie ends up not being too horrible. Yeah. Not, well, uh, that might <laughs> so the basic the premise, basic premise real quick. We meet Eternity, Eternity. I have a hard time saying her name. Eternity Winter uh, lives in this gatehouse on the edge of a forest. Her mother has, has died. Uh, Dad spends all his time with her. He's a writer. But uh, since the mother's demise, um, you know, he spends a lot of time with her and they play these kind of fantasy games where they run around the forest looking for treasure and telling, uh, talking about whimsical creatures and stuff. She likes to go out and dig for treasure. She's got this little shovel uh, with a green uh, spade on it. And she goes out and she digs for treasure all the time. Uh, One day she digs up this rock and she brings it home. And, yeah, you know, the. When you dig up magical rocks, you should never bring them home. Just that's just a bad thing right there. Uh, <laughs> uh, through the tale, we find out what actually happened to the wife. Uh, again, I don't want to spoil anything with all of this, but you kind of get really wrapped up. Uh, Scarlett Rayner plays Eternity in this, and she is just adorable. I mean, she is really, really good in this film. Very, very strong. And we, you know, you kind of get sucked into her plight of uh, of uh, dealing with her mother's death and. Uh, and then what's happening in the woods, uh, we get a ghost mom, we get a, uh, uh, an actually really good practical effect creature that is kind of hard to describe. He's kind of, and I'm assuming it's a he, kind of part leaf, part ground, part branches. I don't know. It's, it's, it's hard to describe. At the end of the day, uh, things kind of go full circle and uh, our fairy tale has a somewhat happy ending. Yeah, along the way, we do get some uh, halfway decent practical effect gore, but uh, some of the uh, <laughs> some of the CGI uh, stuff, uh, particularly there's some scenes where this this wood woodland creature uh, will come out and kind of like basically suck the life out of uh, out of whoever it's attacking. I mean, that looks really, really bad. It's really rough. It would have been better just to show it off camera or something because it, it was not good. But again, overall, the story's strong enough. You can kind of overlook that. Is uh, what would you say the strength of the f- film is if it's not the gore and the special effects? Uh, well, D- uh, Martin Gooch also wrote this, and it is very well written. Uh, again, a, a complicated tale to tell, but but he does it really well. And but by far the strength is uh, Scarlett Rainier as Eternity Winner. She is exceptional. Honestly, we will likely be hearing much more from her. In the future, I would think, because she was uh, I don't know if this was her first film or not, but uh, she's young enough. I think she's only nine or ten years old. This has to be one of her first films, at least. And uh, she's definitely one to watch because she was exceptional in this. Well, that sounds like a winner of a film. So I'm curious, what is your score, sir, and your favorite scene? Well, again, this is low budget, uh, semi indie fair. The score is not going to reflect actually kind of how much I like it, because, again, the CGI effects are atrocious. (laughs) <laughs> so I'm going to give it a two and a half out of five, a solid, a solid C. Definitely worth your time if you come across it. I would definitely watch it. Favorite scene is, uh, and again, don't want to give too much away, but there is a scene where one of the people who have gone missing in the woods, uh, we find out, has actually kind of grown into a tree. Again, practical effect that works really, really well, but just the way you really can't see her until you know she's there. But once you see her, you can't unsee her. <laughs> mm. and, and, and that was a really good practical effect. So that would be my favorite scene of it. All right. Well, there you go. Sounds like a, a winner if it comes across your to do your watch list, I say. Absolutely. Okay. Dave, thanks again for a wonderful, wonderful review. Let's say good night. Good night. Be sure to visit GruesomeMagazine.com to listen to the other gruesome podcasts, Hard News Radio, and Decades of Horror.
Also check out the Gruesome Magazine Quarterly, available in digital and print-on-demand format.